We all know by now, or at least we should, that Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed Valhalla Helix store is a really bad joke. We've gone over this topic many times, and I doubt this will be the last time I talk about it, because I say that every single video, don't I? Yep. It's one of them. Well, the Helix store makes it very, very obvious that Ubisoft wants nothing more than to rinse you of your money. And because people are caving and buying these gear packs, they're feeding Ubisoft's greed and their appetite for extorting their fans further, especially those impressionable enough to believe that they're getting a good deal when they look at this rubbish. It's not the consumer's fault, it's Ubisoft's. But they don't care their overpriced gear packs are making them a lot of money, and they have no standard for quality in these gear packs even still. They're selling reskins and gear packs, they're selling solutions to their front heavy in-game economy and other time savers that might actually seem enticing if you inconvenience the player enough if they don't. Well thanks to some leaks I don't know how they came about we can now learn of some more gear packs that Ubisoft plan on releasing well now it seems they're releasing reskins from previous games and selling them in this game at full price as if they're new. As much as we can't confirm that just yet if it looks like shit and smells like Ubisoft I'd imagine they'll do whatever they can to monetize the ever-loving shit out of the bare minimum. Now these packs typically cost between 10 and 15 pounds some vary in value, though mostly they're around 2,000 Helix credits, and as you can see here, it's a reskin of the Isu armor you can find in both Assassin's Creed Origins and one of the DLCs for Odyssey, along with a repaint of a horse from a gear pack for Assassin's Creed Origins which released in 2017. Or was it 2018 that gear pack dropped? I don't know. So now they've just thrown that reskin in this game and they're going to sell it as if it wasn't in a previous game which you could acquire either for free, or sometimes had to go and buy that piece individually and then they're going to sell it again? Look, there's nothing wrong with putting the reskin in the game, alright? But selling it for what would, I'd imagine, go for around £15 or roughly $20, conversion's a bit flimsier than that I know, it's just absurdly scummy if you ask me. Other leaks have shown that they're going to be releasing a gear pack that's dedicated to more modern day looking attire. I don't necessarily take an issue with the modern day stuff, there's always been a little touch of ridiculous in Assassin's Creed with what's there as easter eggs and stuff like that. But it's something that you pay extra money for. I struggle to imagine who would want to do that, but at the same time, I just don't agree with the practice of microtransactions and how it's applied in Assassin's Creed Valhalla at all. But to me, the selling of reskin gear packs with some items you've already bought in previous games and historically inconsistent gear for real money and not even at a reasonable price, it's just absurd as it always has been, is utterly insulting. Especially if when these actually drop, they are being sold at the prices that we fear they will be. I feel it's very telling of Ubisoft's attitude towards their consumers. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is a game that's stupid long so they don't respect your time. The Helix store is just proof to me that they don't respect your money either. To them, you are just a number, and that's the case with a lot of companies, don't get me wrong. But with Ubisoft, they aren't even trying to hide it. They aren't even trying to do anything pro-consumer. All they want is for you to give them as much money as you can. Or more accurately, as much as they can shake out of you. There are a lot of things in Assassin's Creed Valhalla that I do like, however, the game does not have integrity, because the company that made it doesn't either. Any creative vision had to compromise with what's profitable. Just like how Assassin's Creed on the whole has been dumbed down to fit the mainstream, pissing away any niche just to become a household name and reap the sales of that, they've put microtransactions in on top and completely pissed away the integrity of the brand. I do believe this actually began with Assassin's Creed Unity, though it became much more prominent in Origins onward. And because these practices have generated adequate sales for it to seem like it's working, Ubisoft is now going to prioritise how much they can monetize over anything else. Don't get me wrong, as a business of any kind, you've got to make money that should be on your priority list. But surely to Christ, seeking profit in a more respectable way should also be important. You don't have to do this to get money, you don't have to exploit impressionable fans. You could establish a niche just like the one Assassin's Creed had before you pissed it away to chase the mainstream. You could tell a brilliant story like Assassin's Creed had before they pissed it away to release a game every year. Which is now not the case, but the damage is done now. But this is what Ubisoft chose. They chose immediate profit over a long-term reputation and the benefits that that could bring. They've pissed away any goodwill that they've ever had and are now enabled by the sales that the fans who they manipulated have given them. And if they continue to be enabled, I'm sure they'll find more crafty and sneaky ways to monetize their games further. I'll leave it to you to figure out where you want to sit on this one. However, if you have something against Helix credits and microtransactions and shit like that in Assassin's Creed or any game for that matter, speak up. Otherwise, it'll get worse as companies start to believe that they can get away with more and more, as we've seen with Ubisoft. 
Yes, you can ignore microtransactions altogether, but far too many people are willing to pay for them, and so that's completely redundant. We've seen some minor inconveniences in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and some major ones that pushed microtransactions in Odyssey, so we know Ubisoft aren't above putting in inconveniences to make the player cave and pay money. Sorry, more money because you bought the game. And that's why this is important. There is no such thing as enough. When Ubisoft makes profit one year and it's the best year they've ever had for sales, they're gonna try to one-up that the next year. And who do you think suffers? It'll be the players. Hell, it'll be the people who make the game because they'll be forced to make a game that is a trap for this. So you gotta speak up to avoid that. And it seems to not matter one way or the other because it'll happen due to the amount of people who will cave and pay for it just the same. But I'd rather be somebody who said something while there was time explaining videos like this. And I'm sure many people are in the same boat, such as my good mate George who put up a video just earlier, which will be linked in the description with every other video I used as a source for this. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video so thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did be sure to go ahead and maybe leave a like subscribe share the channel with your friends all that wonderful stuff that would be super fantastic and remember if you take issue with these microtransactions and see problems with it and speak up there's no better time than right now but please do take a look at this and find out for yourself where you stand on this issue anyway that's the end of my ramble i really hope it's made sense i'll see you all very soon with another video at some point but until next time take care and goodbye.